who assisted me in my escape from Nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Sigma 0426A. Uh, but you can call me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Oh dear! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Where is everyone? Not really sure. Nefarious and his troops just picked up and left after that butler guy tossed you into the hall. Not a very pleasant lot, are they? No, not very pleasant at all. May I ask what the purpose of this facility is? This place? Oh, this is the universe's greatest contingency plan. Come, Orvis is waiting. Denied. Senior personnel only. Open your optical drive. This is senior personnel. I'm with XJ0461. While you're unconscious, I took the liberty of installing a quantum actuator into your circuitry. It allows you to create multiple selves. Multiple selves? How else would we get anything done around here? Just record your actions using the time pads and initiate them while the present you moves on to do other things. Time pads can be a little tricky. Let me show you how they work. First, stand on the time pad. Then, initiate temporal recording. Now I'll just open the door and end temporal recording. Now, when I start recording on the second pad... Look, sir! That's me! Now all I have to do is wait for me to open the door for myself! <laughs> Ta-da! 
Now I can get through the door. Pretty sweet, huh? Go ahead, sir. Give it a try. Temporal recording initiated. Now, activate the other time pad and have your past self open Temporal the door for you. Temporal recording initiated. Like an ingenious security device. Did you design it? Are you kidding? Orvis was the smart one. Time pads will also let you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Then, while the chamber is open, end recording. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. When your past self opens the chamber, step inside and open the door. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Since the past self holding the door open is inside the chamber, you'll have to re-record over your other self in order to exit. Open the chamber to let your past self in. Then when he opens the exit, you're free to go. Give it a try, sir. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Halfway there, sir. All you have to do now is Temporal record recording your first self, initiated. And the other will open the door for you. Brilliant, sir. Follow me. Horvus was right. You're gonna do just fine. Race you to the demonic chamber! Aw, oh, come on. I just fixed that. So, are you ready to meet Orvis? I am ready. Access granted. Welcome to Mnemonic Station Beta. Ta -da! Where is Orvis? He's in your head, of course. He locked away on a secret partition in your memory banks. Dr. Nefarious spent over a year trying to hack in. I have to deactivate your neural safeguards and send you into your own subconscious. Hop in! XJ0461, and welcome to your subconscious. I am Orvis, and I've been anticipating your return for quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think your soul came from a robot factory, did you? I created you. Oh, you must have a lot of questions, but first, I have a present for you. Off we go. We have lots to do if you're going to take over my work. Are you really my father? No, my dear boy. I am a program. A digital simulation of the real office. Installed the day you were born in Solana. But don't worry. I know all his old jokes. <laughs> Lesson one. I'm going to teach you how to manipulate time. That chronoceptor can be used to create time bombs. Try using them to get across to the other side. Bravo, XJ0461, bravo! Each bomb contains enough quantum energy to slow down time for just a few moments. Quantum energy is quite unstable, so only one bomb may be thrown at a time. If you come across 
a broken object, simply strike it with your chrono scepter. It should reverse back to the way it was. Go on, give it a try. Good form, XJ0461. You're doing quite well. Now, on to lesson two. What is lesson two? Temporal manipulation via faster than light particle acceleration? Actually, I'm going to teach you how to hit things with a big stick. From time to time, various creatures find their way into the clock. A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but what does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. Now, think of someone you wouldn't mind bonking on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past? Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey, but you can do better than that. Good form, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. I think you're ready for a bit more. I know, keep going. Just a few left. Well done. You certainly cleaned their clocks. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? Oh, my. You've done wonderfully, my son. I know you're going to take good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy, it's your facility. The great clock and everything in it, I now leave to you. Watch over it and protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program terminated. Congratulations, sir. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. Sigmund, what happened to the real Orvis? He said it's a secret. And a junior caretaker knows how to keep secrets. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. We have an orientation room that will tell you everything you need to know about the great problem. Also great for watching cartoons. Watch out, sir! Terratropes! Terratropes are nasty little creatures. They feed on quantum energy, so they can see your past selves. Lousy hypersonic brainwave scrambler must have let them in. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. I would have helped you out, but I'm not exactly what you'd call a fighter. find another way across. Your past selves can throw time bombs, too. Just remember, only one can exist at a time. It's for your own safety. 